to help you understand a function being undefined, uh, let's just take the following few things into consideration. When a function is undefined, it means that it is a non-real number. In other words, it does not exist uh, within the normal numbers to work with in grade 11. So it's non-real and we would say it's not applicable or then undefined. So there's three scenarios in grade 11 that we would refer to where numbers become undefined. The first scenario is when you have a root. Let's just say that is A and this is B. And this counts for even roots, even number roots like the square root, the fourth root, the sixth root, eighth root, etc. So when A is an even number and where B is smaller than zero, in other words, it's a negative number. We cannot have a negative number underneath the square root or an even root. So this is the first case where we have an undefined um, identity or undefined expression. The second scenario is when we are dividing by zero. When we're dividing by zero, it becomes undefined, therefore not applicable. Now there's a third one to consider with <coughs> identities and trigonometry as a, um, a section of mathematics. And it ties into number two, but it's worth mentioning. So tan theta and the tan graph, as you know, as asymptotes at 90 degrees and then every 180 degrees in, every, in the, the left direction and the right direction in other words 270 minus 90 etc so at these asymptotes the tan function is undefined it does not exist let me explain to you why tan theta is equal to sine theta divided by cos theta, <coughs> the quotient identity. Now, if you look at the cos graph, where is cos theta zero? Right over there at 90, and right over there at 270. So at these points, x coordinates of 90 and 270, cos theta is zero. In other words, you are dividing by a zero, making tan theta undefined at those points. And that is why we have asymptotes at those two points and every 180 degrees. To illustrate the calculations, I would like to refer to exercise 4, number 1b, and this is the Via Africa grade 11 textbook for chapter 6. And uh, let's look at the expression. First of all, I ask you to prove the identities, and then it, uh, it gives you these identities. Cos squared x sine x plus sine cubed x so the left hand side divided by cos x and the right hand side is equal to tan x if you look at the right hand side we can clearly see it's a tan x and tan x is undefined at 90 and 270 if we use the left hand side you see we're dividing by cos x. In other words, where cos x is equal to 0, this identity will become undefined. And cos x is 0 at 90 and 270. And so therefore, we would say that x equals 90 and 270. This identity will be undefined.
The second example is from the same exercise, exercise 4, number 1, F. And its left hand side is equal to sine cube x minus cos cube x divided by sine x minus cos x. So the right hand side is equal to 1 plus sine x cos x. Now the left hand side is much easier to work with. Uh, because of the denominator when it comes to proving where it's undefined. So we know it will be undefined where sine x minus cos x is equal to zero. So we just need to solve for x now. Then we will know these x values, it will be undefined. So first things first, we take the cos x across, so we have sine x equal to cos x, then we divide by cos x. On both sides. And we'll have sine x over cos x equal to 1, which means this is where tan x is equal to 1 by using the, uh, quotient, the quotient identity. And where is tan x equal to 1? Well, where x is equal to 45 and 135 degrees. So at these x values, this identity will be undefined. Now, this is from 0 to 180 degrees. The question states between 0 and 360. So to answer the question, it would be 225 and 315 will be the other uh, numbers. My apologies, it will not be at 135 or 315 because uh, tan x equal to negative 1 at those two, but it would be 45 and 225.